Hi there, Art here. Welcome to my vlog. What have I got for you this week? I've got this famous sports person some of you might know. I never get tired of watching Michael Jordan. Just watch this. <laughs> he can fly. I watched The Last Dance, the whole episode, series of it. It's fantastic. Watch it if you've got time. He suffered a fractured ankle. In England, we classify our ankle fractures as Weber fractures. Classification A, B and C. The classification of an A is below the ankle joint. Level B, or Weber B, is in line with the ankle joint. And Weber C is above the ankle joint. And the thing about the classification is that classification A is rarely unstable and requires conservative treatment, but not an operative procedure. Weber B and C, they can become unstable and do require what we call an open reduction and internal fixation. The problem you've got with an ankle is that the calf muscle is a very strong and powerful muscle. Pound for pound, I think it's the strongest muscle in the body. When the ankle is immobilized for a long period of time, and people are using crutches and want to get about quicker, they develop peculiar things like habits in walking or walking with a limb. And how do I test to see if it's a habit? I get them to walk backwards. And if they don't limp, you know it's a habit. And there are special things that you need to do to break the habit. Because it's no good saying to a person, you're limping, you're limping, you're limping, because that doesn't fix the limp. If they limp walking backwards, you know it's mechanical or they may have weak muscles. What else have I got for you? What about the balance challenge? This week, the balance challenge is what I call the windmill challenge or the swimming challenge. Standing on one leg and throwing the arms forwards or backwards. If you do 30 seconds, you'll do excellent. I think the youngsters will be better than the oldens. I even lose my balance trying to get dressed in the morning. And it's got worse, and I've noticed it. So I need more practice uh, at the balance challenges. The other thing I've got is the spelling challenge. You know, those long medical words that are difficult to pronounce, but even more difficult to spell correctly. But I give you four choices, and you choose the correct one and see how you get on. The other thing is talking about injuries. Uh, what about when I said difficult conditions for people to treat and treat successfully or difficult for me as a physio? Over the years, I've found low back pain to be the number one, frozen shoulder to be number two, number three, plantar fasciitis. And I've had that and it is very painful and uncomfortable. And these conditions can last for weeks, months, and years. So check out our website for the information to try and return back to normal and improve your condition as quickly as possible so you can return to your activities. That's all for me for this week. But if you want more fantastic ideas and views to aid your recovery, visit our website, atlphysio.com. But in these times, in certain lockdown periods, stay well, stay safe, and I'll catch you next week. Bye. Thank you for watching our video today. If you've enjoyed it, then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Remember, if you want to start living a pain-free, injury-free life, simply click on the link in the description below. Also remember to visit our website, ATL Physio. Com. We look forward to helping you on your journey back to your very best. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon.